Welcome to our CA Football 12 Teams in 12 Days Season Preview. Today, we take a look at the U Albany Great Danes, and to help us do that, we welcome in their play-by-play -play voice, Roger Weiland. Roger, thanks for joining us. Rob, thank you. Appreciate the, uh, the invite, my friend. Before we take a look uh, at, at this fall, let's take a look back at last spring. You Albany got off to a great start with that big win against New Hampshire, but then injuries just decimated this team. Four games in, they had to make the decision to shut the season down. What would what effect do you think that has as we head into this season? Well, I, I think it'll actually the fact they're able to not able to, but they decided to shut down the season uh, and not get to the finish line will help them uh, this year because they were able to to heal up. I mean, they I, I've never seen a team so decimated by injuries than I had. I saw last uh, in March uh, with that abbreviated schedule uh, with you, Albany. So uh, they really just had no choice. I think they made the right decision. Uh, so I think that will help them. They came into camp uh, in, in pretty good shape health wise. So I think Greg is looking forward to uh, the start of a new season. Let's start by taking a look at the U Albany offense. And it's always promising when you can build around a quarterback like Jeff Undercuffler, who threw 41 touchdown passes in 2019, and all America running back like Carl Mofor. But some question marks as to who's going to fill some holes at wide receiver there and maybe on the offensive line. Yeah, just give us a look at the offense. Yeah, I think, you know, Undercuffler so far, summer camp has has looked really strong. I think uh, Greg Detuso and the staff feels like he can pick up where he he left off, as you mentioned, Rob, with a tremendous uh, 2019 season, throw the spring season out the window and, and start start fresh here. I mean, I think I think Carl Mofor is one of the best running backs uh, in the CAA conference, and to have him back for one more year uh, put a real smile on Gattuso's face, I can tell you that. Offensive line is, is young. They've got some holes to fill up front. Uh, but but capable players that, that I think Greg feels like can get the job done. And the wide receiving core is fairly deep. And, um, you know, Mike Gray looked really good in, in the spring and uh, I think maybe has emerged as, as one of the, the top targets. And the tight ends are, are veterans uh, that, uh, that, that they will use quite a bit. But under Cuffler, I, I think is going to revert back to what you saw in, in 2019. And, and if he does, there's no reason why this offense shouldn't be really good. Let's switch over and take a look at the defense. Uh, obviously, up front, some veteran guys like Mazon Walker, Edmund Foster, and then a guy in Jared Verse who had quite the spring season. Um, at linebacker, Dan D'Amico has been there as an all-conference guy. And then a guy like Tyler Carswell on the back end. What do you like about the defense? Well, you you mentioned Verse, and we talk about throw away the spring. Well, don't throw it away for Verse <laughs> because he, he really was the guy that I thought stood out. It, the, the most for that you Albany defense and such great potential and can get to the quarterback. Uh, he had a great, great spring, and I think he is sitting on a really, really big season. I'm a huge fan of Danny D'Amico. I mean, he just, he just, you know, one of those players has a nose for the football. He's a leader on that defensive side. That linebacking core is pretty strong. And if D'Amico's not making the tackle, he's very close or near to that football at all times. And then, you know, I think Greg Katusa is really high in the secondary. You mentioned cars, well, but it, it's a group that they they have recruited bigger, stronger, and faster uh, in that secondary, and, and they they should be good this year. So defensively. Um, I think you all, but will have a tremendous season on the defensive side of the ball. Let's touch just briefly on special teams. The kicking and return game is always important. And uh, in the kicking game, a guy like Dylan Burns, a pretty reliable kicker to, uh, to lead that unit. Yeah, I mean, a work in progress. That's something that Greg is trying to figure out here in spring and settle in on who's kicking, who's punting the football. Uh, Burns, I thought, came on and did it, and did a nice job last year looking for consistency there. Uh, he was able to deliver, uh, got off to a little bit of a slow start. Uh, Greg hung in there with him, and he really, I think, got better as, as the games went on and got more confidence. So I think they feel pretty good uh, about the kicking game, Rob. Just an overall outlook, 2019 was certainly a tremendous season for the U Albany program, uh, getting to the second round of the FCS playoffs and last year starting the spring season nationally ranked. What can they do to maintain that momentum and maybe make another playoff run this season? Well, I, I think what, one thing is that, that Greg has, has hyped on with this team is you know, they were preseason number eight 
right? The preseason polls. And uh, Greg, Greg has uh, made a point to say in 2019, I think they were picked to even further down and they ended up winning. Uh, so they're, they're kind of, they're kind of using the, the preseason polls as a little bit of motivation here, uh, which is, which is a good thing. Um, I, I think offensively, this team has real chance to be strong with undercuffler at, at quarterback and Mo for going to carry the football 25 times a game. I don't think there's any question about that. If that offensive line, like we say that with every football team, right? Can the offensive line deliver? There are some question marks up front in the O-line. Uh, Coach Sweeney, former NFL veteran offensive lineman himself, does a great job with that group. So I think if the O-line can hold up, up here a little bit i think the offense has great potential and i think the defense could really carry this team for a little bit to begin the season all right roger thanks for the tremendous breakdown of the great danes and we look forward to catching up with you as the season goes along rob thanks a lot all right thanks roger